agriculture 6. Proper way of planning propagating trees and fruit bearing trees, budding, marketing, grafting. Learning on how to plant propagate trees and fruit bearing trees is a great skill because you can make lots of new plants for your garden instead of buying from a nursery. Some plants are easier than others to propagate and different methods work better with different plants. In this lesson you will learn theoretically the proper way on how to plant propagate trees and fruit bearing trees. Two methods of planting one. Direct method is the sowing or planting of seeds directly in a permanent location without the need of a nursery too. Indirect method is the sowing or planting of seeds in a seed box pot in a nursery. Once the seedlings in the nursery are ready, they can be transplanted to a permanent location. This method is widely used to improve the quality of seedlings in order to have a good harvest. Steps of planting trees fruit bearing trees 1. Prepare the tools and materials needed. Tools, spade, shovel, pickaxe, pruner's bow, rake, hose, gloves, post driver, post materials, mulch, organic soil, compo st. 2. Prepare the ground choose a place where there is an adequate space with other trees or plants. Dig a circular hole twice the width and the same depth as the root ball. Do not dig over the base, as this may cause the tree to sink once planted. Instead, puncture the base and sides with a spade or garden fork to allow the roots to penetrate. 3. Check planting depth placing the unplanted tree in the hole to check the depth can be helpful. Place the tree in the hole, lay a cane across the top to check the level, and at our remove soil is required. 4. Tease out roots lift or loosen the tree from the hole or container and use your fingers to gently pull the roots away from the root ball for it to grow outward. This will encourage the root to establish into the surrounding soil. 5. Plant the tree Place the tree in the hole and turn it round until its best side is facing the right direction. Then fill around the root ball with the excavated dug soil and gently ferment. 6. Attach tree to wooden stake. Choose a stake that will support the trunk. 7. Care of plants. Water the tree regularly for two years, and then put compost and a thick mulch, such as composted bark chippings, to control weeds and seal in moisture. The ties can be removed after two or three years when the tree has fully established. Proper way of propagating trees and fruit bearing trees. Plant propagation is the process of growing new plants sexually or asexually from a variety of sources such as seeds, cuttings, grafting and others. It can be done by direct planting or indirect planting. Plant propagation can be done manually or by natural seed dispersal through air and animals. Two methods of plant propagation. 1. Sexual method is a natural method of plant propagation using seeds. 2. Asexual method is the process of producing plants from other parts of the plant. Some of the asexual methods are grafting, budding and marketing, etc. Advantages of budding, grafting and marketing. 1. The new plants produced through marketing, grafting, and budding will be exactly like the parent's plants where the characteristics of the parent plant will be replicated too. The fruit tress grown from seeds may take years before they start to bear fruit, but the trees grown from marketing, grafting, and budding start to bear fruits much earlier. 3. Need less attention in their early years than the plants grown from seeds. Propagation of tree through budding, grafting, and marketing. A plant propagation through budding. Budding is the process of transferring the lateral bud from the scion, a mature branch, to the stock, a seedling plant, of the same family. The two types of budding are patch budding and tea budding. Patch budding is widely used on fruit trees with thick bark. Procedure in plant propagation through patch budding. 1. Prepare the tools and materials needed to. Remove a rectangular piece of bark from the rootstock 3. Slice a rectangular patch containing the bud from the budstick 4. Insert the patch with the bud in the cut on the rootstock. The inserted patch should fit the cut tightly 5. Wrap the part with the inserted bud with plastic, tape, or wax cloth leaving the bud exposed. 6. Trim off the upper portion of the rootstock. Just above the patch bud 7. Cover the budded portion with a clear plastic to reduce transpiration. 8. Water the rootstock daily 9. Remove the plastic cover once the bud sprouted. Procedure in plant propagation through tea budding. 1. Prepare the tools and materials needed to. Make a horizontal cut in the root stock 2, 2, to 3, 3, cm long, as dip as the bark 3. Make a vertical cut below the horizontal cut forming a T4. 
Slice a shield of bud from the bud's thick about 2 and a half 2.5 cm under the bud to 2 cm above 5. Open the bark of the T-shaped cut in the rootstock 6. Insert the bud by pushing it downwards under the two flaps of the bark 7. Tie securely with the plastic tape but leave the bud exposed. Don't press the tape too firmly against the inserted bud. This will ruin the growing bud. Be plant propagation through grafting. Grafting is the art of joining two pieces of living plant to shoot together a root system. Root stock with the shoot system sign in such a manner that they will unite and subsequently grow and develop as one composite plant. There are several types of grafting, such as cleft, saddle, splice and whip, and tongue. Procedure in plant propagation through grafting 1. Prepare the tools and materials needed to remove the leaves but retain the buds or nodes in the scion 3. Split cut the top end of the selected stock 4. Sharpen the base of the scion. Insert the scion between the split cut of the stock 5. Apply wax over the cut portion to prevent loss of water 6. Tightly wrap the grafted part with a plastic sheet. Do not cover the node 7. Cover the grafted portion loosely with a plastic bag 8. Remove the plastic bag when young leaves appear but leave the plastic sheet. Remove the plastic wrapping after 5, 5 months. See plant propagation by air layering marketing marketing it is also called air layering in which the stems are induced to root while they are still growing on the mother plant. This method is considered the oldest in propagating fruit trees. Procedure in plant propagation through marketing or layering. 1. Prepare all the tools and materials needed to select a branch that is 1 half, 0 0.5, to 3, 3, cm in diameter 3. Remove 3, 3, cm of bark around the branch. The exposed part must be 15, 15, to 30, 30, cm from the tip of the branch 4. Clean thoroughly the exposed portion with a knife by scratching or scraping a thin plastic-like covering called cambium layer 5. Cover the exposed portion with rooting medium, such as sphagnum moss or coconut husk, and a small amount of rich loose soil. This is usually moistened with a root inducer called ANAA, alpha naphthalene acetic acid, 6. Cover the rooting medium with transparent plastic sheet and tie both ends with string or plastic straw, 7. Cut the marketed branch below the wrapped portion when the roots are fully developed usually in 2-4 weeks or more 8. Remove the plastic sheet and transplant the marketed plant in a permanent place or location. General safety precaution in tree propagation operations 1. Wear personal protective equipment PP like gloves, masks, googles, etc. 2. Use tools and materials in accordance with specification and procedures 3. Check the manufacturer's specifications on the shelf life expiration of materials. 4. Identify hazards in the workplace and report it. You should follow 5S principle for an excellent and safe working area. 5. Prevent and respond to emergency and accidents. Prepare emergency protocols for responding to accident in the workplace and a complete first aid kit. Activity time. Direction. Write the procedure on budding, grafting, and marketing in your notebook. Remember, plant propagation is the process of growing new plants sexually or asexually from a variety of sources such as seeds, cuttings, grafting and others. It can be done by direct planting or indirect planting. Plant propagation can be done manually or natural seed dispersal by air in animals. Asexual reproduction of plant is usually done by budding, grafting, and air layering marketing. Apply safety measures when doing tree propagation operations.